Uh, let's take a question under the application of derivative in economics and see how to solve. The question says, given the following production function, k equals 6x squared plus 3xy plus 2y squared. A. Find the marginal physical product activity as MPP of y. So to solve this, first let's recall the equation which says k is equal to 6x squared plus 3xy plus 2y squared. Now question A says we should find the marginal physical productivity, MPP of y. And to solve that, MPP of y should be equal to partial derivative of Q with respect to y. Okay, means we should differentiate Q with respect to y. The question says MPP of X, then it means we should differentiate K with respect to X. So MPP of Y will be equal to, remember, we are differentiating K with respect to Y, and there is no Y in the first term, which is 6x squared. So the whole thing should be considered as a constant, since there is no Y there. And since we are differentiating with respect to Y only, so that's why we are considering the whole thing as a constant. So, when you differentiate this constant, which is 6x squared, with respect to y, you should get 0. So, the first one is 0. Plus, now, when we take the second term, you see that it has an exponent of 1. So, to differentiate it with respect to y, which has an exponent of 1, we multiply the whole thing by 1. So, we say 1 multiplying 3x y exponent 1 minus 1. Okay, we subtract 1 from the exponent. So we close the bracket. Plus, now, the last term to be differentiated to respect to y. And y has an exponent of 2. So we multiply the whole thing by 2 and subtract 1 from the exponent. So we have 2 multiplying 2y exponent 2 minus 1. So we close the bracket. So MPP of y will be equal to now since the first year is zero we don't need to write it anymore now one minus one is what zero and y exponent zero is one remember one of the principle of indices that a exponent zero should be equal to one okay so y exponent zero will be one and one times x times three x should give us what three x plus then when we come to this side also we have 2 times 2. 2 times 2 will give you 4. And then 2 minus 1 at the exponent here is 1. So you have y exponent 1, which is the same as y. So it becomes 4y. So MPP of y is equal to 3x plus 4y. So let's look at question B. Now, to solve question B, the question says we should assume y is actually y bar, not y. We should assume y bar to be equal to 4 units. Okay y bar means that we should hold y constant at 4 units. This is trying to talk about short-run production, where some inputs are fixed and some are variable. So y kind of look like capital at this moment, where capital is fixed at 4 units. So we've been giving y bar to be equal to 4 units. So since y bar is equal to 4 units, let's recall the equation, which is 6x squared plus 3xy plus 2y squared equals q and substitute y bar into it, okay, to make it constant. So you're going to have q equals 6x squared plus 3 multiplying x multiplying y, which is now 4, okay, you are making y 4, plus 2 multiplying 4 squared, okay. So k will be equal to, now, we have 6x squared, so we write it 6x squared. 4 times 3 will give you 12. So that will give you plus 12x. Okay. Then 4 squared is 16. 16 times 2 should give you 32. Okay. So that will give us plus 32. So Q is, is now equal to 6x squared plus 12x plus 32. That is when y is constant at 4. So after getting the value of Q, you realize that at this side, we now have one variable, which is x only. It's no more x and y. So the question says we should find MPP, meaning total derivative, with respect to x. Okay. So to find MPP, MPP should be equal to 
the q over dx we should differentiate q with respect to x now to differentiate q with respect to x we use the exponent of x here which is 2 to multiply the whole thing and subtract 1 from the exponent so we have 2 multiplying 6x squared minus 1 that we subtract 1 from the exponent then plus now x has an exponent of 1 here so when we multiply the whole thing by 1 we are going to have 1 multiplying 12 x exponent 1 minus 1 we subtract 1 from the exponent okay plus now when you differentiate a constant you must get zero it has no x in it so it gives us zero so let's simplify this so mpp will be equal to 2 times 6 is what it will give you 12 then x exponent 1 because 2 minus 1 is 1 and x exponent 1 remains x okay so we have 12 x here plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So x exponent 0 will give us 1. So multiply that 1 by 12, it remains 12. Times the 1 outside the bracket, you still have what? 12. So MPP is equal to 12x plus 12. But since the question specifies that when x is equal to 8, so when x is equal to 8, our MPP will be equal to we substitute 8 in the MPP to know the exact value of MPP when x is equal to 8. So MPP will be equal to 12 multiplying 8 plus 12. Now, 12 times 8 will give you what? Let's check. 8 times 10 is 80. And 8 times 2 is 16. 80 and 16 is 96. Meaning 12 times 8 is 96. So 96 plus 12 should give you 108 so we get 108 so mpp is equal to 108 unit when x is equal to 8 and y is constant at 4 units so that's the final answer to this so in the next video we take another question and see how to solve it thank you